please. Please. We love Man. rigid toolboxes. If you've ever seen some of our videos, we buy a lot of astronomical units to see inside of rigid toolboxes. They're like safes for workers, That's for like tool enough. guys, for blue collar guys like us. These are safes. Since uh, Mike pushed the issue of two YouTube channels, now when we get units, we put the phones down and we just fight till the end and whoever wins gets to record the unit. I guess I'm gonna. I'm we bring a tripod so we can record this fight. No, but uh, what we're doing is. Oh, you presume you're gonna win a fight? That's what arm we're wrestling. doing. This is what we're doing right here, people. That's arm wrestling. This is what we're doing. Me and Mike, we're gonna split it. I'm gonna record half. He's gonna record half, and then we're gonna do a premiere on his channel. And right after that, it's gonna premiere on my channel, back to back. So you gotta stay tuned on both to watch it. That's how you get traffic to both ways. You go both ways. Oh, that's how you get traffic to both ways. Oh. Four, eight, eight. Eight plus eight is 16, plus four is 20. Add that together, that is a two. Two is a good number. I like twos. What'd you pay for this, six grand? I would normally ask you what you paid for this, but it'd be more fun, first off, for everybody to kind of speculate. If you're standing at the door, because that's what you get to do at an auction, you can't break this threshold right here. If you step in like this, they'll be like, oh, we're gonna ask you to leave the auction if you walk in the unit. This is what you get to see. You stare here at the end and you look at things like this. And then bidding starts. What are you doing? Closing the door? Um, this particular unit here has been photoed for an auction for a while. Um, people are anticipating seeing eventually because of that. They put this ad up and then it never is actually comes up and then poof, there it was. Got lucky they didn't advertise it. I wasn't here at the auction. What drew you to buy it, Alex, when you just were standing here, if you were to look at this? I bought it because I just liked it. You didn't see nothing that made you want to bid what you bid? Copper. Copper. You see copper here? Copper's not cheap. I don't know the exact number per pound, but I'll, one of us will put a little thing here. It's it says, like hey. Two or three bucks, I think. Two or three bucks? Two, two or three bucks. A lot of copper. A lot of it. Look at it. Copper, copper, copper. I'm sure, quite sure, the word rigid drew your attention. Yes. I Google that. I know how much it's going for. I'm not sure what country that is, but that's a pretty neat flag. Got to be worth probably 10 to 15 bucks. What country is that? If you guys know, you can comment below. Tell me what country that is. There you go. And then uh, the, the, the rigid box. I don't know if they're in business, but if you do need some plumbing, um, call them. They can probably use some work. Probably, yeah. So comment be below be Comment below yeah, what you guys probably. would pay for this. We will, we will uh, later on in, a, in one of our videos, we will uh, mention what this costs. We're not even going to put it in the title, which is kind of rare. Because I think this is more fun to see what you guys would pay. But somewhere towards the end of the video, we will mention what we paid for the unit. Be more fun that way. I wiggle they sound full. I Each one of them sound full. Those got to be what, uh, five, six, seven bucks a piece? No, probably not that much. These fittings here for your plumbing. Uh, not sure what they cost. Um, go to Home Depot. Maybe one of y'all know out there. What's in there? Ooh. The band saws. That one felt. The bands. The bands are like a couple of bucks each. That's a 10 buck box. I don't even want to touch it. Uh, ooh, there's a 15 or $20 charger. That's good. $20 bucks. Heavy duty deep cut pencil. Oh. Oh, yeah. Nice. It's a little damaged right here. These aren't cheap. I've had a few of those back in the day. They are for uh, metal. Cuts metal real well. Milwaukee. Nice. What do you guys think that's worth? Please be complete. Please be complete. Please be complete. Without looking this up, seems to be intact, seems to be working, working shape. You see a foot pedal right there. That's got to be a uh, that's got to be a, some money back. That could be anywhere from uh, 500 to 1500 if I was to guess. Any of y'all out there in plumbing, uh, maybe you could tell me what you think this is worth. We have to get a better view. So what we are doing is taking all the pipes out where we can see what we really got going on in here. Uh, other, other reasons as well is A, this pipe is extremely large. I'll show you them in the trailer in a second that we can't fit in there. And uh, 
four, or maybe I don't know what it is, C4, four, whatever it be. Um, yeah, we can slide them pieces in the big piece. Yeah, you're right. But um, the pipes are not really like great flea market items. I think we'll yield more money. We take these back to the warehouse and we um, put them on Craigslist. Yeah. Uh, what is your trailer? Is your trailer like 18 feet? 17, I think. 17 feet. Because we're not sure the exact length of these pipes yet, but we have to do this to get them to, to uh, fit in this trailer. They probably wouldn't even fit in mine at all because... Okay, yeah, so 18 feet is what I think your trailer is. Infamous black garbage bags. Tarp. A tarp. Nice. Sump pump. It's a water pump, I believe. Utility pump. Pretty decent shape. Not sure of its value. And then there was two of these simmer pumps. Pretty decent shape. Once again, I'm not sure of the value on those. Probably one of the most common items I think I've ever sold at a flea market and almost always sells, an never, extension cord. And you never keep one when you need it. No, uh, yes, I do. Yeah. I have a shelf dedicated to extension cords in my house. Nice. What is this? A lit what is this? A rigid job max through cool pretty decent shape there's a few dollars right there miscellaneous box parts plumbing parts that's got to be 15 20 dollars in parts easily Woo! look at all those elbows don't catch i don't elbow. think they're actually called elbows i think i'm wrong please feel free to correct me if i'm wrong on what these are called made by con class so um all the pipe is loaded all the big pipe um try to squeeze in a little bit more to get back to the warehouse but this uh makes it hard to get um everything out at once for these big pipes but that's gonna be some type of money right there i'm not sure we haven't had a chance to figure out never really found pipes that size before alex is in here sweeping right now he's testing out a new broom that he designed and he's putting a pat net out on it this is uh the units opened up a little bit and we're gonna start uh going through the stuff right here in these drawers and these cabinets see what we got start right here another locked cabinet maybe we'll see if the other drawers open maybe they might trigger Okay, that's interesting. That's very interesting. Cool to open it up. It's right there. My last video is a very similar video of us opening up the file cabinet. This tool sucks that you gave me. Want me to? I could be destructive at times. Oh. What's under the black tray? Come on, petty cash. No petty cash. Oh. oh. Poor us. Get it, you want. Yeah. So that means you weren't recording. How long does it take Mike to open up a... There it goes. Oh, man. I hurt my Benji shoulder. said the Rolex video was awesome. Who did? Benji. He texted you. No, he didn't. He did. Nice. That hurt my shit. War related injury here. Couldn't that have been money? If I was a plumber, I'd put my petty cash in my phone. Nice. Brand new plumbing glue, purple glue. I'm not quite sure what the price is. I know that's got to be a nice little box. Six of those. 
Knock knock. You think there's something in here? I don't know. Wiggle it. Let's see. What do we got here? That's like faucets. Brand new. Dead giveaway was the fact there's a photo of a faucet there. Use. Oh, uh, yeah, that's not nice. You took the faucet out. I'm gonna need your workers comp room because I got a uh, machine hurts. No one can stand in. Okay. I have no idea what that costs in the store. Another brand new one. Faucet. Once again, I have no idea. What an American standard. Lifetime warranty, 642-4F. Faucet may cost in the store. I know they're not cheap. You ain't going to the store and buying a faucet for like 20 bucks. Proflow. Oh, cool. I like that. Gerber. There's a little, little bathroom faucet, a little toilet faucet. Uh, toilet faucet. Which <laughs> faucets have toilets? Does your toilet have faucet at home? Let me know, because mine doesn't. Bathtub, I think. Jeez, what is wrong with me today? This one's sealed. Oh, you really gotta know your shit to use one of these. The toilet tank. That's Uncle Michael's favorite joke uh, whenever he sees like a work at work and he finds like a a plunge or something or something to do with plumbing. So you really gotta know your shit. Oh, I found that funny. I don't know. He's a kid, could be funny at times. At times. At times, not all the time. What is that? It is a something that goes to a something. Looks new to me. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Got another one of those. Says use. Where will we sell these at? What's a good place to sell faucets at? I think Stockton. They're not the internet? Maybe the internet. Is that an eBay item? Could be, we to have to do that since you don't know how much stuff costs. Remove only after installation. What is this? So we don't know. I don't want to compromise Integrity's box and pull it out. And we're going down the aisle. Looks like another toilet tent. Hey. That's got, I think the toilet tanks are pretty cheap. I think those are only like 20, 30 bucks in the store. I found a few toilet tanks in my days. What in the world is this? A straw for something? No, those are my brooms that I was... Uh, These are brooms? Uh, oh, this is your first box of your patent for your yeah. brooms. Yes, sir, it is. I have no idea what these are for. I do. Oh, it's even bad. That's what they're for. No, I don't know exactly what they're for. The plastic twitches instead of having to go out the tree and get one to get what? We got hose. And different area coats. It's a nice hose. Yeah. Looks like it's for like a uh, pumping of some. I might go to the uh, the those pumps. Good, good, not. Ooh, what do we got here? Something we never use at the flea market? A gazebo. A camping. A gazebo. I don't know uh, what. Gazebo more of a permanent fixture. Yeah. What is it? it explains a whole lot. They were cowboy things. Oh, yeah, that explains it all. Yes. Somebody, if you want, the come story. throw this away. The story is complete, ladies and gentlemen. They were cowboy fans? Yes, that explains everything. about the most hardest thing to possibly sell empty plastic container nice fishing nets uh, i don't know if i would call them nice but those are nice nets. fishing nets that's very presumptuous of you nice fishing nets linger company 21.99 with the price tag on it for that net in the store so what's that equivalent to in flea market value? five ten bucks that shouldn't really hurt 
to sink so I don't break it. For like a broad. What is up with 45 bullets? Why does like everything have a 45 bullet in it? What are you It's like 45 bullets. So he just dropped that bullet. Do you know all the comments you're about to get saying I'll that thing that could have went off? At you. At who? Not me. Oh yeah, you. Oh no, you won't. Oh yes, I will. Oh no, you won't. There's only one, so <laughs> you'll catch some bullets later on tonight. Then. This is for like cooking. This is good for waffles, pancakes, pancakes. Yes, and eggs. Probably little eggs. A little over easy eggs. I love over easy eggs. I don't know about you. Y'all like over easy eggs? These are good uh, wading boots. You can wear these. I can. Uh, it keeps me from being uh, elevated from all the shit that Alex pours out when he's talking to me all day. Ooh. Just kidding. Y'all know that I'm the one who's always talking shit as I was just doing there. It's my favorite thing to do. What is this? I would say, but I don't know. A plasma cutter. Mm. That's nice. Is it nice? Mm-hmm. Interesting. And that's an on-the-job incident. It's been one hour since a job-related incident. We need some instant research to find out what this is because it just seems kind of cool. $3.99. New in the box. New in the box, $3.99. And it looks almost brand new. If you look at this thing. Yeah, a little bit. What's up? It looks basically brand new. I don't know what this is, but it looks like nothing's ever gone through there. If the fluid goes through there, it's definitely not had fluid in it. Definitely been sitting. Dusty. But that's fairly new. Last one I sold, sold for 404. Used? New. Mm. It might have been used. Nice. Two sold. It was new. And auction. Now we have three pairs, so uh, that's one for you and one for Uncle Michael. Now we're all equipped for all the stuff we speed to each other. Oh, yeah. Why? Why do we do that? Because we don't take it personally. Where you me? It's all fun and games. Until you find so somebody gets cut. That a pull, see if it does anything. This sucks. Yes, that does. Oh, yeah. We're probably gonna gas, sir. Hmm? We're probably gonna gas. Shake it. Do you hear the gas? Mm -hmm. Still good. Air compressor. Should do it yourself. Easy at home. Low pressure. You hear that wind coming in? I think these are good for staplers. Is it paper at home? Yeah, but like, like, you know, some homework. I don't know what to do here. I'm already got like a job related incident going on. Ah! That's where I put the bullshit in and take it out. It's a very nice dolly, sir. I don't know how nice it is. Costco is a very inexpensive store in the grand scheme of stores. A little bit more expensive than like a Walmart, but they always have super deals on things there from what I understand. This is a classic torch for welding. Mm. Very cheap welding. I think it's just for doing a... Uh, Tack welds? I don't know, to be honest with you. I don't know what you'd weld with it because I just, usually I, from what I used to understand a metal shop was you had two tanks. But I could be wrong, but it seems like it's for, um, just like easier welding. What? I don't know. What did you say? I don't know, but this unit has a lot of hose in it. A lot of hose. A lot of hose. A lot of hose. What's that stuff? Fishing poles? Mm. Fishing poles. Johnny, hi. You were trying to fly a kite? Not that kind. Cheap. Doesn't have a brand name on it. 
Usually some of that brand name is pretty inexpensive. What does it say? Actually says Quantum there. Abu Garcia C508 GLX. Long stroke XR5. It's like fishing for parts. Parts. Good reels, baby. Who's in that? What, in here? Yeah. What is in here? A bamboo fishing pole. A bamboo fishing pole. Or a pole stick, because that's what kind of case it is. What do you guys think is in here? I think it's drill bits. Like, think about it. If you're a plumber and you're going to drill stuff, and you really want to take care of your bits, you buy a nice, fancy leather case. And then you put your drill bit gloves in here. So when you put your drill bit on, you don't want to get dirty. No? No? Chuck. Poor Chuck. Hmm. That's for drill bits, isn't it? Mm-hmm. You were right. It was a poor thing. Oh, look at that. Cheap one. Minnesota Fats. Reminds me of that movie, I'm Gonna Get You Sucker. Is that what it was when he had mm -hmm. the, uh, he had the, uh, the goldfish in his shoes. Goldfish in the. Whew. That's when he had the big toe when he got it shot. Air compressor. How many of these have we sold recently? I don't know, but they sell for 20 bucks. We have been selling the hell out of little tiny quarter cable air compressors. They blow. Yes, they do. What do you have there, Michael? What'd you say is what you say is a manhole? No, that's not a manhole. It's too little to be a oh, manhole. Say, what do you know about manholes? It's not a manhole. I don't know what it is. It's a sewer. I think it's a piece that goes in front of your house. Is look, you ever had your water shut off or you need to turn it off and you gotta go out of the house and they gotta turn it on right there? That's the cover, right? Mm-hmm. Another shelf. Let me kick you in your shin and see how you feel. No, oh, stop crying. I've been doing a lot of crying lately. Hmm? With all the rap pee and... Is it an ice or something? Another sink. What? Another sink? Another sink. That's a faucet. Kitchen sink. Faucet. Used Ooh. one. Why do we say used faucet? Because you might need a part when you. Ooh, our fourth hose. And some little hose in there. Some hose in this. Is it illegal to have that many hose in one storage unit? It all depends. Maybe they're just friends. You're looking at two different. What do you have there? I'm not quite sure what, this is like, uh, you know when you go to the, um, like you go to like a little fair or something, and you go and they're like, oh, get in the hole and take a picture, and you get your kid down here and everybody takes a photo, and it's like that. This is of metal. You ever seen that piece of metal? And it's very special. It's like uh, wrong. Well, uh, what exactly is it then? That? Yeah. You don't it's know. It's for air ducts. You don't know. It's for air ducts, sir. For, you put it in the roof. And then ladies and gentlemen, the is this for air ducts? I don't know. No, I'm asking the ladies and gentlemen. Maybe they know. They will tell me. Seven or maybe. Like if you were right or I was um, right. It's too heavy for air ducts. They are too heavy. I really don't know. Maybe they're for pipes. Machine. I think I might have broke my shin. That's cool. What is, what is here? What is that? It's a snake. Is that a snake? Mm hmm. There's a snake in my unit. Hmm. Is it missing something? It looks like it's missing a snake. It might not be a snake. It might be a little. Uh, I don't want to find out there's a snake in there. Spartan Model 300.
What is this? Uh, I just collected that though. It's made in America. I don't remember. What do you think that weighs? Huh? Another piece of copper. Copper's adding up. We don't don't underestimate the copper in this unit. We, when this is all said and done, there should be several hundred dollars in copper. Man, I don't know much about copper. And I don't know what we have. I don't want to speculate because I, I uh, you know, try not to be wrong all the time. There's got to be at least 200 pounds. I feel at least 200 pounds. Series, don't know how much copper weighs or how much it is. Okay, I found this on the web. Oh, here's a good one for you. How much? What's what, what weighs more, a pound of money or a pound of copper? Same exact thing. Oh. Which one is worth more? Well, oh, a pound of money, definitely. Even a pound of ones would be worth more than a pound of copper. But you were quick on that one. I'll try to get you. Pound of copper. Copper scrap price. Okay, I found this on the web for pound of copper. Fine copper. Somebody's selling 999 copper. Scrap copper melt value right there. Oh, this is going to take forever. Let me know when you get it. 280 a pound right there. You see 280 a pound for copper. Not bad. Uh, they won't, they're not going to give you that. They're going to give you 80 to 90 percent, something like that, because they got to make money somewhere. But type in what 200 pounds would be worth at that price. Silver. Go to grams. Turn to pounds. Total. Put just type in 200. Okay. Go ahead. Boom. Hit that. Now hit. Uh, just type in 80 percent, because that's what we're going to probably get uh, in scrap. Let's just speculate. Four forty-eight. This is one of the biggest uh, hoes I've seen in a long time, right here. Oh, I've seen some big hoes. This is the piece that uh, this is the piece that kind of made me want to buy the unit. See, Mike's gonna work on it. I don't know much about it, but I know that when I googled it, it was kind of pricey. Did you Google before you bid? While I was bidding, you know you got to be fast. You need a hand? Let's see. You need one? Here you go. No, we're gonna see if I need a hand. Oh, oh, you got it. Oh, lift, lift. Oh, all right. Joe. Okay. That's nice. This has to go somewhere here. Rigid, three hundred. Maybe not. Yeah, across the top. Does it come across this Okay. It looks right, right? You get in there. Looks like that fits. I feel like there's more stuff to it. it might be. What is this thing? They come out. Gotta pause. I think that stays. Is there teeth in there? Where's the teeth that are over here? Yeah. I don't know. This should this should come out somehow. I just don't know how to do that. Because a pipe should go through here. So that shouldn't be in there, but I don't know how to. It probably unloosens right here. And then it comes out. Is it coming? Mm -hmm. Oh, is this oh. service off on? Huh. Probably needs to be turned on and, and tightened, maybe. Yeah, we'll figure it out. It's nice though. It's real nice. It's nice though. What do you think? Well, it's don't look nice, but money wise, I think it's gonna be nice. Come on, baby. I'll go go back to the warehouse and throw some soap and water on it and call it new. <laughs> That's a little scary, you know. Maybe I ain't gonna do that. No. no. I won't. Why not? This is not how I operate. Nope. It sure ain't. Loosen up these right here. Yeah. And then this comes up. 
So however loose, those loosen up, maybe twist it. There you go. Uh, see? see? Let, let me play with it. I told you. Damn it, I broke it. Oh, that's nice. This uh, slightly costly unit, which we have not divulged the price, you'll have to watch Alex's video to see. Recap, this is my recap. This is your recap. It's like my recap of my half without trying to let them see what was in your okay. half. They're getting a half. they're getting a sneak preview because this wasn't in my cap. That half was that little the piece right was. there came with this, but um, this is uh, the rigid three hundred. I've yet to look what that really sells for, but I feel like that's in the four figures somehow somewhere. It'll hit a thousand or more. Let me know what you think that you was gonna sell for, or if you wanna buy it, hit me up. Here we have Alex doing his recap of his entire stuff. This right here, you see the We did all the pipes. This right here is a- We did all of the pipes. Over 200 pounds of copper. This is all the stuff you've seen us pull out during uh, my unboxing of this unit. Copper end up being oil over 200 pounds. I don't know exactly what these are. They look like elbows. I know that's not the name. If you could help me out with what those are. Those are not cheap. You go to Home Depot, that's not a $2 item. I know that. I don't know what it costs, but I know it's not a $2 item in the store. Boxes of stuff. You saw the sump pumps. Sadly, these were empty. That's what kind of drove the unit to cost what it did. Once again, if you haven't uh, guessed on what the unit cost, comment below. Please comment below what you think it cost. We'll let you know. Um, in Alex's video, we reveal, reveal at the end of his video what the unit cost. The edgy saw these were empty. That one had a nice tool. It adds up accumulatively. Building supplies, people like this stuff. Um, you saw the plasma cutter. Uh, that's a few hundred bucks there. Fishing nets. The tools keep adding up. Um, we got this here. I haven't got a chance to look that up. Um, looks like it's partially there. Fishing poles, racks, etc., cetera, etc. Cetera. But make sure you step. Thank you for watching this video. I truly appreciate it. Thank you for commenting. Um, much love. Uh, I love every one of y'all, whether you're liking it or disliking it. It's all the same. It creates activity, and activity is what shows results on YouTube. And for that, I love you. I love you. I love you from the bottom of my heart. You don't even know. Um, the rest of this video, the second half, the the rest of the unboxing will be on Alex's channel right here storage i'll put it like right here in the box storage stalker uh, it'll probably be following this actually on a youtube premiere we'll do them back to back just so you guys can uh be able to watch it all we're trying something different because of um we're buying units together and we both have a channel now he's got into youtube and so it's hard to pick and choose so we're trying to see how this works when you do them together and i want to thank you all for anybody who's tuned into his channel for giving him any support same to anybody who's uh, subscribed to the salt princess channel my daughter she's trying to do it we're getting her out of her shell it's been a little bit slow for her because she's a little shy like i was in the beginning but she's getting there shout out to locker nuts and um don't forget to subscribe to his channel and yeah stay tuned right after this video we'll roll alex's on his channel much love horrible camera work one quick more uh guesstimate Y'all, uh, comment below what you think. This is the actual amount of copper we're taking in. What do you speculate that's going to weigh? Now you have a better judgment of it. Uh, before Alice goes and uh, weighs it and scraps it and tells us in his video what it uh, valued and what it weighed, what do you guys think? Some heavy ones. This one right here is super heavy. A couple rolls. That one's even more heavier. I, I had to help Alex with that one. What are you hoping is in this box right here? Tools. Tools? tools. Ooh Come on, tools. Stack to the rim. Everywhere. Sawzalls. All the good stuff. Sawzalls? An expensive one. Hilti. Uh, we're looking for some more rigid, rigid. some greenly type things. Plumbers, please. Yeah. Please. Please. We Man. love rigid toolboxes if you've ever seen some of our videos. We buy a lot of astronomical units to see inside of rigid toolboxes. They're like safes for workers, for like tool guys, for blue collar guys like us. These are safes.